Hi. And what we have here in the last part is that we've got to find a Cartesian equation for the curve C here, given its parametric equations. This is quite a tricky one actually, compared to many that uh, I've done in the past. But if you haven't done it already, just pause the video, come back when ready, and then you can uh, check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, what we're dealing with here anyway is a trigonometric parametric equation type. So what we've got to do is try and find some linkage, some trigonometric identity which links together the two trig functions that you see here. And what makes this tricky, I think, is because it requires two identities. First of all, I can see that we've got sine 2t here. And it would be quite good to get cos 2t, because cos 2t, let's just put this down, cos 2t, normally you see it as cos 2a in quite a lot of textbooks and formula books, is identical to 2 cos squared t minus 1. So I can see that I could take this equation here and get it in terms of cos 2t. Then I can see that we've got another identity that sine squared of any angle plus cos squared of the same angle is always equal to 1. OK, it's identical to 1. Now, what could I take as that angle? Well, I could take it as 2t. So, blending these ideas, combining these two ideas together, I'm thinking that I could use these identities. OK, let's just show you, take this further, OK? Let's say that from equation 2, OK, now I'm saying equation 2 because I'd want to number that one, 1, and that one, number 2. If I was to head towards this area here, OK, I can see that if I divide both sides of equation 2 by 2, I get that, therefore, y over 2 would equal 2 cos squared t. But I know that from this identity, let's just say but... If I rearrange this identity, add 1 to both sides, I can see that 2 cos squared t okay, is identical to 1 plus cos 2t. So I can put this in place of this value here, 2 cos squared t. So what I therefore have is that 1 plus cos 2t must be equal to y over 2. And if I subtract 1 from both sides now, I'm going to get cos 2t. Cos 2t equals y over 2 minus 1. And what I'd like to do is simplify this. So if we just come down here, I can put this all over 2. So we could say that therefore, cos 2t is going to be equal to, well, if I have a common denominator of 2, then you're going to have y there and minus 2 there. OK? So let's now turn our attention to equation 1. So from 1, I want to make sine 2t the subject. So if we just say from equation 1, then sine 2t is going to be equal to x divided by root 3. So sine 2t equals x divided by root 3. Now, what I know is then this identity down here. Let's just put that down. We can say that since, OK, sine squared 2t plus cos squared 
2t is going to equal 1, then from these two results that I've got here and here, I can say that therefore if I square sine 2t, that's going to be x squared over 3, so we have therefore x squared over 3, plus, now if I square cos 2t, we're going to square the top here and square the bottom. So that's going to be y minus 2 all squared, and that's going to be over 2 squared, which is 4, and that's going to equal 1. So there essentially is the Cartesian equation of C. You could rearrange this if you wanted to, give anything that's equivalent to this, but essentially that is it. And that is one way that you can get the Cartesian equation. Alright, so I hope that uh, makes some sense.